Let's talk about three new array methods that each work by returning an iterator function rather than a set of values. What this means is you can use the iterator to step through things sequentially, but we'll get to that. First, let's explain what each of the three actually iterates over. We've got our sample array full of pirates. Array.keys iterates strictly over your array's indices, that is 0, 1, and so forth. Array.values is the opposite. It will iterate over the actual values returning Bluebeard, Blackbeard, and so forth. Note, this method is currently only supported by Microsoft Edge and nightly versions of Firefox. Support is coming in other browsers. Array.entries gives you little mini arrays with both pieces of information. So you would get something like 0, comma, Bluebeard. You can, of course, write your own little functions that provide these same values, but why rewrite existing code? Especially when the iterators themselves are so handy. Let's show some examples. For this, we'll iterate over the entries, which is the one that gives you the little mini arrays. This code will yield the following in your console. 0, Bluebeard, 1, Blackbeard, each in their own little array. If you get to the end of the set and call next again, you'll get undefined as a response, which is obviously useful for determining when you've reached the end of your array. However, these methods play particularly well with ES6's new for of loop. If you use that, you won't even need to look for undefined. And we'll talk about that next week.